On the warm seas sailed a ship. On the ship lived two pirates. Their names were Captain and Matey. Captain was the captain of the ship. Matey was first mate. Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to be reading Captain and Matey Set Sail, written by Daniel Lawrence. The parrot's name. One day, Captain said, look at our ship, Matey. It is a good pirate ship with a good pirate plank, Matey added. Just look at our strong sails and our sturdy wheel, said Captain. We have everything we need to be good pirates. Yes, said Matey, everything except a parrot. So the pirates got a parrot. Let's, go. Let's call her Polly, said Captain. Forget it, said Matey. Every pirate's parrot is called Polly. The parrot said, squawk. I think we should call her Spot, said Matey. Spot? That's a dog's name. Besides, she doesn't have any spots, said Captain. The parrot said, squawk, a little louder. What about Mildred, said Captain. It is such a lovely name. That is your mother's name, and she doesn't like birds, said Matey. The parrot looked at Matey and said, squawk, very loudly. She looked at Captain and said, squawk, even louder. What about Greeny, asked Captain. She is mostly green. Or princess, asked Matey. We will treat her like a princess. Feathers, asked Captain. Or beakers, asked Matey. Suddenly, the parrot flew around and around, screeching, squawk, squawk, squawk. Hmm, the parrot's angry. Captain, said Matey, I think the parrot is trying to tell us something. Is your name Squawk? Asked, Captain asked the parrot. The parrot flew to Captain's shoulder. Very, very softly, she said, Squawk. From then on, the parrot was called Squawk. After all, Squawk was her name. Okay. A pirate song. Thursday was deck swabbing day. Captain swabbed one end of the deck. Matey swabbed the other end. Matey sang softly. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Captain sang, yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. He did not sing softly. The harder Captain swabbed, the louder he sang, yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. I hate that song, Matey told Squawk. Captain sings so loud, even the sharks can hear, said Matey. So Matey sang louder. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Now he is yelling. Boy, I hate that song, Captain said to himself. So Captain sang louder too. Both pirates sang louder and louder, and both pirates grew madder and madder. Oh, they're both so angry. Captain stopped swabbing. He marched up to Matey. Matey, he said, I hate that song. It is not a pirate song. First, this is not a stream. It is the sea. Also, we are on a ship, not a boat. Lastly, pirates don't do anything gently. Matey said, true, this is a ship and not a boat. And we are on the sea, not a stream. But I am a pirate and I do things gently. Anyway, I hate your song. Just why is that? Asked Captain. First, said Matey, yo ho ho means nothing. And you, don't, and you do not even like rum. I saw you drink rum one time and it made you sick. It is true, I don't like rum, said Captain. But I do like to sing yo ho ho. Singing yo ho ho makes me feel like a pirate. Well, just stop singing it for a little while, said Matey. My ears need a rest. I won't, said Captain. You stop. No, you, said Matey. You, shouted Captain. You, yelled Matey. Yo, ho, ho, gently on the sea. Yo, ho, ho, gently on the sea. Squawk, squawk. What a wonderful idea, said Matey. Yes, said Captain. I like the sound of that. So Captain and Matey sat down together and wrote a new song. There were no streams or rum in it. 
but had plenty of yo-ho-hos and gentlies, and they both liked it. It is very pirate-like, said Captain. Yet gentle, added Matey. Captain and Matey swabbed and sang together, and every time the pirates sang, squawk, squawked in. So now all three of them are singing the song together. The visitor. Look, Captain, said Matey, there is a pirate in the water. The pirate swam to the ship and called to Captain. Sir, I fell off my ship. Will you give me a ride to shore? We'd be happy to, said Captain. Matey, throw a rope to our visitor. The visitor climbed on board. He was big and scruffy and strong. Now that's a pirate, said Matey. Captain said, I had better climb up to the crow's nest to see if there are any other pirates floating about. I would be happy to do that for you, sir, said the visitor. He started climbing. Wow, said Matey. Look at how fast he is climbing. Now that's a pirate, Captain frowned. Near dinner time, Captain said, we only have two fish. I will catch another for our visitor. I would be happy to do that for you, sir, said the visitor. The visitor dived into the sea and came up with a fish in his bare hands. Wow, said Matey, fishing with bare hands. Now that's a pirate. Captain rolled his eyes. Big deal, he muttered. After dinner, Matey said to the visitor, tomorrow we will reach land. What will you do then? The visitor said. I was thinking of getting another tattoo. Oh, wow, so many tattoos. Another tattoo, asked Matey. Do you have one now? I have many, said the visitor. The visitor had two tattoos on his back. He had tattoos on his legs and chest. And he had tattoos on his arms. Matey said, now that's a... Uh, Yes, roared Captain. He is quite a pirate. He is big and scruffy. He can climb the ropes fast. He can catch fish in his bare hands, and he has many tattoos. But I am the captain, he shouted, and I say it has been a long day, and we should all go to bed. Not yet, Captain, said Matey. It is our visitor's last night here. We must have a party. Let's dance. No, said Captain. I am tired, and I am going to bed. Mm, captain is jealous. It is all right, sir. I do not know how to dance anyway, said the visitor. You don't know how to dance, asked Captain. All real pirates must know how to dance, but do not worry, I will show you how. Captain danced and danced. Matey and Squawk danced too. The visitor just watched. When they reached shore, they left. Wow, said Matey, now there goes a pirate. Maybe, said Captain but it's too bad he's not much of a dancer. Treasure. It was nice of the visitor to give us his treasure map, said Matey. I hope the treasure is jewels. With jewels, we can make crowns that will sparkle in the sun. We will not make crowns, said Captain. Whoever heard of such a thing? We will sell the jewels and buy a bigger ship. But I have always wanted a crown, said Matey. We will get a bigger ship, said Captain. Crowns, said Matey. A bigger ship, roared Captain. Well, since we cannot agree, we will just have to disagree, said Matey. It will probably not be jewels anyway, said Captain. I think it will be gold coins. That would be exciting, said Matey. We could buy a little house by the sea with a garden and a horse and a... Oh no, said Captain, we will buy new ropes and a cannon. We, will, we are staying on the sea, we are pirates. Very well, said Matey, we will have to disagree again. Captain became angry. No, Matey, let's not disagree, let's agree. Let's agree that we will split the treasure. I will take half, you will take half. I can buy a bigger ship and you can make crowns in your new house by the sea. Agreed, said Matey. Captain shoveled and as he shoveled, he thought, he thought about sailing a big ship without Matey. He felt sad. Matey thought too. He thought about living in a little house without Captain. He felt sad. 
Captain and Matey dug and dug and felt sadder and sadder. Finally, they hit something. It was a treasure chest. They took the chest out of the hole. Well, said Captain, here it is. Yes, here it is, said Matey. They stood there. They did not open the chest. My big ship will seem very little without you, said Captain. And my little house will seem large and empty without you, said Matey. Hmm. Captain opened the chest. He peered into it and smiled. He took out one gold coin and one emerald. He gave the emeralds to Matey. Is that it? asked Captain. Yes, said Captain. Oh, thank goodness, said Matey. I do not need a house anyway. And I, said Captain, do not need a bigger ship. Besides, we have this great chest. Yes, said Matey, and it will be lovely to keep dishes and napkins in. Dishes and napkins, said Captain. Don't you mean daggers and swords? No, I mean dishes and napkins, said Matey. Daggers and swords, said Captain. Dishes and napkins, shouted Matey. Matey and Captain argued. They argued all the way back to the ship. They walked onto the ship, still arguing. The gold coin came with them. The emerald came with them. But the chest stayed on shore. Okay. Well, that was Captain and Matey set sail. Uh, I hope you liked it. And if you did like it, you can give a thumbs up. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.